Or so ago, a beautiful dame walked into my office and hired me to find Jean Lafitte's pirate treasure. Vera Gigante said her husband Vince had taken the map off some poor schmuck who came up short on protection money. A few days later, she came over and spent the night. It was a bad idea. I didn't usually do that kind of thing, but you ain't met Vera. Ain't been alone with her on a hot, sweaty night in New Orleans. Who's in your blood? So don't judge me. That little incident got me killed. Thrown in the river by her husband, mobster Vince Gigante of the Black Hand. And yet, here I was, walking around without so much as a scar. A voodoo lady told me I had some kind of monster inside that was keeping me ticking. Then she handed me a box she said my long-lost grandfather asked her to give me. Inside the box was a marshal's badge with a bullet hole in it, and a letter saying it helped me keep the monster in check. I can't say as I really believed all that, but I was walking, and I didn't have a pulse that I could detect. And any time that badge got more than a few feet away from me, I felt a pain in my gizzards like I'd drunk whiskey distilled in hell. Now I was standing on the corner of Bourbon and Conte. It was midnight, and I was looking for payback, when a certain dirty cop was about to round the corner. Oh, what in the... Dear paper, Jesus. Hiya, Mick. Long time no see. Harvey Jenkins. I... I thought you was dead. Turns out I'm part fish. I bum-rushed him in the alley and had my forty-five in his lousy Irish guts. I'm gonna ask you a question, O'Reilly, and you're gonna answer. You know why... Sure. And it's because you got that gut in my ribs, don't you? No, Mick. You're gonna tell me because I'm gonna use this gat on Vince. And you want me to take care of Vince, don't you? Then you get a bigger share. Bigger share of what, you man man? With Vince gone, who's gonna pay me wages? How about the city? You know, the one whose uniform you're wearing? Ah, the Black Hand pays better. The thugs who made up the Black Hand never admitted it even existed. For Mick O'Reilly to say the words out loud meant he thought I was a dead man. He had no idea how right he was. So you don't get a share of the gold, huh? What are you raving about, you madman? You're seeing leprechauns. What gold? Now, O'Reilly wasn't one of the Black Hand. He didn't have the right ancestry. But he was in their pocket. Scapelli's house was on fire when I went there an hour ago. I figured Vince had gone in and gotten revenge for his brother Joey and a chest full of gold in the process. But to take out Scapelli's crew, and especially Mortis, he would have used O'Reilly, and he knew nothing. Never you mind, Flunky. Where's Vince? Go to hell, you- <laughs> Something welled up inside me. I felt my eyes burn. Mick must have seen something too. I saw his trousers go wet. Absinthe. Vince is at the old Absinthe house. Get out of town, Mick. It ain't gonna go well for you next time we cross paths. The old Absinthe House is a bar in the French Quarter where a lot of the Black Hand like to spend their free time. I didn't think Vince would be there. I figured he'd be off counting up Lafitte's treasure or delivering it to his boss, Silver Dollar Corolla. But there he was, bigger than life, chatting up some call girl. Adultery's a sin, Vince. Harvey Jenkins, but, but... You can say it, 
Vince. It's loud in here. And who's gonna care anyway? Who's gonna care that you murdered me? I'll kill you again, you shallow. Draw that piece and you'll whistle every time the wind blows. I wave the hand in my trench coat, showing my gun already drawn and ready to bark. What do you want? Vera. That trash. You can have. You keep the gold and let her go. What gold? Your big sleep must have soaked your brain. Both Vince and O'Reilly weren't smart enough to play dumb that well. They didn't have the gold. Mortis, what he's doing here? He knows you killed Scapelli. Scapelli's dead? I didn't like him. Not yet, anyway. O'Reilly had been telling the truth. Vince hadn't killed Leo Scapelli. And that likely meant he didn't have the gold either. Vince! Where's Vera? Now? You wanna stuck my goil now? She's in danger, Vince! Try me, danger! These shots ain't doing nothing to that creep! Don't worry! Les pauvres sur le move! Shut up, you! What's with this town and no one dies anymore? Where's Vera, Vince? I'll protect her. We'll settle up later. I got him, boss! I'm gonna kill you, Mortis! <laughs> the docks! She says she was gonna get out of town for a couple of days till all this blew over. She's boarding the Madame Rule. Don't you so much as touch her where you ain't supposed to half. And I'm gonna make sure you stay down on the river bottom this time. I bolted to the back door. I could hear Mortis still chanting his strange Creole hoodoo. Whatever he was saying, it was keeping him alive despite Gigante's boys emptying a lead mine in his way. I ran towards the docks. Once Mortis finished Vince, I was sure he'd come after Vera for good measure. I got to the pier. The Madame Rouge was boarding and Vera had just arrived with several steamer trunks. A male figure hidden by the shadows was unloading them from the car. But I'd know that slimy silhouette anywhere.